Welcome back guys, it's TGR, that's Gaming Robbo. Today we're going to be looking through the hidden gems list from Denmark on Championship Manager 0102. Now just before we do start the video, please make sure that each and every one of you Give us a follow or a like on Twitter and on Facebook. And if any of you are new, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well. Well, apart from that, guys, let's start the show. Let's see the hidden gems from Denmark on Championship Manager 0102. So, guys, as I said, we're going to be looking through the Danish hidden gems on Championship Manager 0102. Now, just before we do start the video, guys, as I've asked yourselves uh, many times before, if you are new, please make sure you, sub you do subscribe to the channel because we're so close to hitting 2,000 now. We're only 600 away, so we need to keep pushing and striving to hit that 2,000 milestone mark. And, of course, if any of you uh, do like this video, please make sure you smash a like on the video. Well, guys, let's start looking through these Danish hidden gems, starting off with the goalkeeper. Jesper Christiansen. Now Jesper is playing over at Rangers. He's 22 years old. He's valued at 2.8 million and he's getting paid seven and a half thousand pounds a week. Now the beauty about Jesper is obviously with him being at Rangers, you know, they're not the biggest club in the world. So you can probably get him, you know, near enough for his value on here. But his potential ability is 155. So with that being said, you know, Jesper Christiansen can turn into a really good goalkeeper on the game. But Jesper is obviously the keeper for my Danish hidden gems to, um, list for Denmark. Let's have a look at the den defence. Can't even talk today. Let's have a look at the defence. Starting off with the left back, Nikolai Helby. Now, Nikolai is 20 years old. At the start of the game, he's a free transfer. So you know for a fact, obviously, you're going to get him for really cheap on the on the cheap price, obviously. But Nikolai, he, his potential ability is 162. So with him being at the tender age of 20 years old, he can potentially develop into an amazing left back on the game. Someone that Denmark should really be using on this game, of course. But Nikolai's the left back. Let's have a look at the right back. Ol Mogensen. Now, Ol's playing his football over at Koga or Kog. Sorry, he's 20 years old. He can play at right back, but he can also play as a defensive midfielder on the right hand side or on the centre. Now, with Ol, he is valued at 55,000 pounds, so he's dirt cheap, and he's on a part-time contract, getting paid 800 pounds a week. Now, Ol's potential ability is 180. So already. You can see that this guy right here can lead, can be basically leading as a, an, one of the formidable right backs on the game, as long as he's nurtured properly. Now, speaking of nurturing, if you guys do need any help when it comes to the training regimes, up there you will see the training regime best ones to use on Championship Manager 0102. So please make sure you give that a look and obviously uh, you know use that as a, as and when. But those are my two fullbacks. Let's have a look at the two centre backs. Per crawl drop. Now Per is 21 years old. He's playing at Udinese in the Italian Serie A league. Now even though Udinese is not one of the top teams in Italy, it's still a very good team to be playing for. Now Per is valued at 2.8 million. He's getting paid 5,750 a week. Now Per's potential ability is 160. So already you can see he's, he's developing really, really nicely at the moment. So it may cost a little bit to prize him away from Udinese, but I feel that you're going to get a solid centre-back for your team. Now, Per is one of two centre-backs. Let's, let, let's have a look at the other centre-back. Dan Tomasen. Now, Dan is 20 years old. He's playing at Padova. They're in the lower part of the Italian league. I think they're two or three divisions below Serie A. Now, Dan is valued at just under half a million pounds and he's getting paid £3,000 a week. <clears throat> the relegation release clause, I personally wouldn't take any notice of it because Padova are so far down, they're not a team that's going to get to the lowest division 
So unless they get promoted and then relegated the season after, I personally wouldn't pay attention to the relegation release clause. But Dan's potential ability is 165. So like Per, they can both turn into fantastic central defenders for your team. But Dan completes the defensive line. Let's have a look at the midfielders. Starting with this man, Jens Jessen. Jens is 20 years old. As you can see, he's got dual nationality. He can be part of the Swedish team or part of the Danish team. Now, Jens, I personally would be trying to nab him for the Danish team, obviously, if I was managing a Danish national team, purely because he will be able to fill that massive void in the defensive midfield role. Now, Jens' value is only £12,000 and he's getting paid £150 a week. Yen's potential ability is 186, so this guy can turn into the next Roy Keane, the next Patrick Vieira, even Radoslav Kaluzhny. This guy can be one of the best defensive midfielders on the game, as long as he's treated the right way. But Yen's is the only defensive midfielder I have in this team. Let's have a look at the two central midfielders. Lass Hansen. Now, Lass, he's 16 years old. He's playing over at B1913. Now, he's valued at a quarter of a million pounds, and already you can see that he's wanted by Inter Milan and Villarreal. So this guy already, you know, he's going to have a world reputation where the big clubs are looking at him. He's getting paid £1,300 a week. The relegation release clause of £180,000, I, I personally wouldn't li like... like, like um. Dan Tomasens, I personally wouldn't listen to it purely because I feel Lask would be would be taken away from by by a big club relatively quickly. So I'd try and nab him as quickly as I can. Now Lass's um potential ability is 184, so already you can see that he's going to be shooting up to the to the big guns, obviously. Now Lass is one of two central midfielders. Let's have a look at the other one, Kim Jensen. Now, Kim is 22 years old. He's playing over at Esbjerg. Now, with Kim, he is valued at £350,000. He's looking to move clubs, obviously, because he thinks Esbjerg is just a stepping stone towards his future. He's getting paid £2,100 a week. The relegation release clause is there for just over a quarter of a million. But I personally, once again, wouldn't listen to that because I feel that he would be moving pretty quickly. Now, Kim's potential ability is 150. Is He is, to be honest with you, one of the lowest potential ability rated guys on the team. But still, I feel that this guy, he will be turning out to being an absolute amazing central midfielder on the game. Let's have a look at the attacking midfielder before we head over to the strikers. Mads Jorgensen. Now, Mads Jorgensen, he's 22 years old. He's playing over at Bromba. Now, I will admit, when I first started playing Championship Manager 0102 20 years ago, I was obsessed with Mads Jorgensen. I literally bought him every single time I started a new game. Don't know why, I just I was literally just mad about him on this game. Now, he's valued at eight and a quarter million pounds, and he's getting paid just over five thousand pounds a week. Now, Mads Jorgensen's potential ability is 160. So even though his potential ability is not as high as uh, like Lars Johansson or Jens Jessen or even even Ol Mogensen, he, he, he is still going to be a fantastic player in your team. And especially as an attacking midfielder, he will generate you so many goals or so many goal scoring chances at least for your team. But Mads completes the midfield guys let's have a look at my two strikers starting with this one michael silberbauer now michael's 20 years old playing over at aab he can play attack and midfield as well as striker but i've selected him to be part of my two-man strike force he's valued at six and a quarter million pounds he's getting paid just under six thousand pounds a week he does have a relegation release clause, but let's be frank, AAB are not a team that's going to get relegated anytime soon, especially before his contract expires. So totally null and void that relegation release clause. Now, Michael's potential ability is 165, so he can develop into a really good player, a really solid striker, as well as a fullback attacking midfielder for your team. 
but Michael was the penultimate player. Let's have a look at the last player for my Danish hidden gems list. Mads Jolla West. Now Mads is 19 years old, playing over at FC Copenhagen. Now with Mads, <clears throat> he's valued just shy of £4 million. He's getting paid quite cheaply £1,300 a week. Now Mads' potential ability is 182. 182 for Mads, you know. So you can see already that this guy is going to turn into an absolute worldie of a player for the Danish national team. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure you smash a like on the video. And of course, if any of you are new to this channel or on this video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well. So you know when the latest video has been uploaded to our channel. Well, apart from that, guys, I look forward to seeing each and every one of you at our next video here at TGR. That's Gaming Robbo.